the homework will ask you to draw something. Now, in this case, our drawings, there might be like almost like 20 unique drawings in here that they're not gonna be identical to one another. Like, I'm not gonna say, oh, your, your plane didn't quite look as perfect as I wanted it to. It's more the idea that did you get everything in the drawing that needs to be there? And these are a little bit of like kind of tongue twisters. Um, like, are they asking you to, like some of these, the wording is a little weird. So just, we'll do our best to kind of decipher what it's saying. So it says, YP lies, lies in plane B. So what do you think I should draw first there? I might draw something else first. Kind of want to, yeah, I want to lay out like kind of what I'm starting with here. So I'm going to draw a plane. And I'm not drawing like an airplane, like regular plane here. It's just kind of trying to make it look like I have some space here. And I guess if it just looked like a straight up and down rectangle, that would be fine as well. And I need to name it. So I'm going to put a B in the corner. And I'm going to try and write it similar to what they did, just so that it's obvious what plane I'm talking about. Plane B. So YP let, lies in that plane. So I need to draw a line that's on that plane that's called YP. So I'm going to draw a line. And I'm going to put some dots on it. YP. And it says it contains point C. So what do you think that means for us? Where should the C go? In the plane. In the plane. Do you think it means the line is it's on the line too? I, that's kind of a little unclear. Like YP, I can't tell if they're saying that YP also contains point C or I'm just gonna put C on here. There's no reason not to. It doesn't say it doesn't have it on there. I'm just sticking it on that line. That's perfectly fine. There can be hundreds of points on that same line. But it does not contain point H. So where do you think H should go? Outside. You want to put it completely outside the plane, and that's perfectly fine. So we're just throwing H over here. You can put H like on the top of the page. It doesn't really matter, as long as it's clearly not on that plane. Now again, this is a little bit of kind of a tongue twister English, like, like is that really saying H is supposed to be on the plane or on the line? But if H is completely off the plane, it's not on the line or the plane, so it's kind of safer there. Does that make sense? So that, that's all the drawing has to look like. It doesn't have to be, you know, work of art. I mean, this is not um, art class, so it's more that you're kind of getting across the point here. All right. So see if you guys can draw this next one. So this one's a little bit, I think, easier. So lines Q and F. So they're using nicknames here. So Q and F are just nicknames for those lines. So you don't need the two points on it. Um, it's just like the short name for those. So Q and F intersect at point Z in plane U. So see if you guys can draw that. Take a minute. If you want to wait, if you're worried, it, 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 these are your notes, so it's not like I'm going to judge you if you have to cross them out later on or something. So again, I kind of like drawing like the biggest thing first, just so I can kind of lay out my space. So I'm going to do plain U to begin with. So again, doesn't have to be anything fancy. I can tell that's plain U. And lines Q and F need to intersect at point Z in plain U. So Q and F are two lines that need to intersect. And Q and F, the little letters like those, those are points, so you don't need to put them as points. They're just little nicknames for those letters or for those lines. So I kind of just put it next to that. And we had done that like on the front. I think we on the front side there was like an example of like line M, how that was like written. That was just a little like nickname for it. The only thing I'm missing is what? Point C. Point C. Where does it need to go? At the middle of the two, where they intersect. So that's again where the stoplight would be or where the glue would go. Right. 
So this is similar to some of the stuff you guys are going to be doing in your homework tonight. So if you go to check your homework, like um, with me, or um, if you end up grabbing a textbook in the back of the book or something like that, your drawing might not be identical. That does not mean your drawing is wrong. Like now, if point Z was over here, that's wrong. Like I mean, like does that make sense? So it doesn't doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It just needs to be like the same idea. So. Again, it's not everyone's drawing exactly the same thing. A little creativity is okay. Um, so just be um, aware of that. All right. So I think we're going to do the last example. The last example we're going to do here together today is C. So if you want to flip your page, I think I need to check that. I don't need the word. I don't need the next. Okay. So if you guys want to flip the page, start looking at that. Do the one more example and then um, group of problems here. So looking at this drawing, this might be hard to see what's going on here. And I'm going to try and see if I can give you like a quick little example. I don't know if I have. I don't know if you guys can see this. I don't know why they would do this, but they make these shapes clear. I think it's so you can see through them, but at the same time, they're kind of hard to see that. So this is what we have going on here. We have like a prism, like a triangular prism here that's sitting on a piece of paper, essentially, like a, its own plane. Does that make sense? That's what the drawing is that they're trying to convey there. So if you're someone who's totally visual and needs to like see something, this is what they're trying to draw there, which I think they did a pretty good job, but if you're not used to looking at something that's like 3D, um, that's what they're trying to get at. So it says, how many planes are shown in this figure? What do you guys think? How many planes are in that figure? So again, this, this is important that it's sitting on that paper. It's not like hovering above. So how many planes do you think? Yeah, what do you think? Five? Does anyone agree, disagree? Anyone think more or less? So I would agree with five. So where they are is the top plane. So the very top of this like, guy, the bottom is two, and then there's three sides. So there'd be five planes there. So top, bottom, and the three sides, five planes. How many of the planes contain points both F and E, like so both of them? So they contain both of these points. So if I pick two of these corners, how many planes have F and E in them? What do you guys think? I saw a number, yep. Two. Two. Do you guys agree, disagree? Agree, yeah. So two. And so if I'm talking about these two points, like if I'm looking at the top two here. The top one would include that, and then this side. Now you might say, well, these two touch F or E or F or one or the other, but the ones that actually include the, both of those points would just be two of the planes. So the very top one and the one right there. And so this is this is kind of a lesson in visualization. So like making you kind of think a little, a little more than you have been. And then name four points that are coplanar. So remind me of what coplanar means. What's coplanar? Same one, same plane. So four points that are coplanar. Does anyone think they have four that are coplanar? Go ahead, Lena. So she said E, D, B, and C. What if you guys said something else? Does that mean you're wrong? Are there other correct answers up there? Yes. Yeah, so this is one set of coplanar points. These four are all on this same plane. There's like four or three correct answers for this. So 
those, or you can go FEBA or FDCA. So like there's like four different options for that, okay? And then finally, our A, B, and C coplanar. Let me explain. Yes, no, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs up, yes, thumbs down, no. What do we got? All right, I see a thumbs down. Peyton, you explain it to me. Are those on the same plane? <laughs> you can change your mind. <laughs> so there are all the ones that are sitting on the bottom. So if I was gluing this to this, that would be exactly where I'd put like my glue, right? Like those like four points. So they're all on the same plane. They're all sitting on plane. What's the name of that plane? W, yes. So they're all on plane W. Okay. Questions there? All right. So if you guys could flip to the very back of the note sheet, once you're ready. We're, and, uh, and we really could probably push through and get this all done, but I do not want to rush. I don't want to um, overload right now. And, and some of you guys are like dying for homework and wishing that I gave you a ton to do, but I'm not quite there yet. So <laughs> I'm trying to make this doable for all of us here. So. Okay. So on the, the homework here, so like I said, I need the right to reserve, to change these as needed. Um, so today, for what's gonna be due for Thursday, because today's Wednesday, I'm still trying to get used to the fact that today is Wednesday. This is gonna be due Thursday. This next one we're gonna wait on, so that's probably gonna be due Friday, if you wanna kinda make a good guess. So the page five through six, one through 25 odds is gonna be due tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you guys all the different places you can find that out. So one is right here, like I just told you. The second place is on my board over here. So the only people as eighth graders you can be able to check this. If you guys need to pop your head in here, um, you guys can come keep your head in here and see this before I are, whenever you guys need to. This will always be on this board. I'll try to be good about updating I typically am. So that's a place, and you guys are the first hour geometry. Our third hour is probably gonna be typically the same as you guys unless for some reason something really weird happens with the schedule. And the final place is on Schoology. So um, I'm gonna pull up Schoology so if you guys can just wait a second and then um, we'll do a couple other things and then y'all the rest of the time for home. So I just ask that you guys follow along here with me for a little bit. So. When you guys go into Schoology, I think your Schoology page looks something like this when you guys open it. I think, ish, this is mine, so it might be slightly different. The biggest thing, and I'll fix this today, is um, the things over here is kind of a to-do list. And if you're on your central like Schoology thing, it should have all of your classes. But if you're just in geometry, it's going to say what's due on what day. So right here it says for Thursday. Right now it says two things are due. I'm going to go change that. So this one is not going to be due. Just the one is going to be due. Now if you go and click on that, it's pretty sweet. I, I, I like Schoology for this reason. If you click on it, it doesn't give you much more details. But if you look and you click there, it's going to have the book pages for you. So this is the whole section 1-1. One, one. Oops, I scanned fast including the homework. So it's not just the homework. It's like if you want to read how the book explains the same things I explained to you. If you're like, I really don't understand what the line segment is here. Um, oh, there's the word gray I did not include, but I don't know if that's in homework. But you guys can look that one up if, like, if that shows up in homework. I don't think it does, but I So um, just real quick, I'm going to mention Ray just because it just made me think of it. You guys. I don't know why this isn't on here. So Ray, I'm 
We'll talk a little bit more about it, but a ray. So ray is CD. Ray is kind of like if you were to like fire something off, throw a ball straight ahead. You have a starting point, and then it goes forever in one direction. So um, that's one that I just realized I forgot to mention when I'm looking at the book pages. So um, that's kind of why I wanted to include all of the book pages in case you're like, yeah, because I think she missed something because I'm human and I miss things from time to time. And so that would be something that you guys have that book there. Now, if the online book is not good enough or you don't have your computer yet, um, or if you just prefer to have a, a, like a hard copy of a book, we can get a book today for you. Um, if you're fine with the online text, you guys can just use Schoology that way. Um, if you're struggling to get into Schoology, I'd be glad to try and help you guys get in there. I think I have passwords for students, um, so we can kind of figure that out. We get out of here at 17 after. So in the next, like, 20-ish minutes, we, you guys are going to have time to get started on homework. Um, we need to, before you guys leave, clean desks. Um, and, um, and if you'd like a textbook, you can pick that up. I'm trying to think if there is anything else we have to do. Yes? Sorry, what's that? Um, so Schoology, so the homework is, so it's this, so the book pages, we can get that in Schoology, like I said, we can get a textbook for you. Or, um, and so real quick, so in terms of turning it in, so that's maybe something that maybe might be a little bit confusing. There will be a place to turn it in on Schoology. You do not need to do that. You guys are in person, you guys can turn it in live to me. It's the online students that have to turn it in on Schoology. Now, for whatever reason you prefer to turn it, like if you're someone who always loses your assignments, 